Welcome to lecture 11 in the series of acupuncture or acupoints for massage therapists. Today's lecture will cover the liver channel of foot Yin. So let us begin. Remember Yin covers the medial aspect of the thigh, the middle aspect the middle area of the anterior aspect of the upper arm primarily the channel begins in the lateral aspect of the dorsum of the big toe at Dadun, liver 1 runs along the foot to liver 4, which is one sun anterior to the medium alveolus, moves up the leg, intersecting with the spleen channel at spleen 6, continues up the leg anterior to the spleen channel until a point about 8 sun above the medium alveolus. Then it crosses posterior to the spleen channel and moves up the medial aspect of the thigh. Continues into the pubic region where it encircles the genitals. Ascends up through the pubic region into the lower abdomen where it intersects with the wren, the conception vessel. continues upwards where it kind of curves around the stomach enters the liver and connects with the gallbladder ascends through the diaphragm this is all deep now moves up the neck across the cheek it links with the tissues around the eye and then moves up to the vertex of the head quite unusual for a yin channel right most of the yin channels don't energy don't reach the head the heart does but the liver reaches right to the vertex right and it connects with do 20 it connects with the governor vessel also an unusual thing for one of the yin channels to do and then a branch from the eye comes down spreads across the cheek and certain circles the area of the surface of the lips and we see another branch separates from the liver crosses the diaphragm spreads into the lung and it meets P1 right. makes sense that the liver channel spreads into the lung because if we follow our chi clock, how the chi moves through the channels, right? Liver is the end of the cycle and lung is the beginning. So the chi kind of returns home and then moves out through the body again. Right, but by virtue of these connections we see a connection between the liver channel and the genitals, right? The the sinew channel the divergent channel, the connecting channel, all terminate or come right into the genital region. We see a connection with uh, a close connection with the stomach, with the conception vessel, right? With obviously the liver and gallbladder, the wood element. Right there, an internal externally paired relationship there. It's also paired with Han Jui Yin, the pericardium, and it meets the channel there. Right, we see eye connection, top of the head connection, nasopharynx connection. Right, so these are all interesting connections to bear in mind as we think about the channel, its course, and the the functions that points on the channel will have. Let's take a look at the sinew channel. Sinew channel begins on the dorsum of the foot and the dorsum of the big toe 
ascends to bind at the anterior aspect of the medial alveolus, continues along the medial aspect of the lower leg to bind at the knee, moves up through the medial thigh, and comes and connects to the genitals. And according to Peter Ded Deadman in Mazen al Kafaji, the other sinew channels. Of course, as with other sinew channels, the pathological symptoms of the liver sinew channel will include strain of the big toe. That's not like other <laughs> channels, but what I meant to say was, you know, pain or strain in the local area. Right. So pain of the medial aspect of the knee, spasm and pain of the thigh, dysfunction of the genitals. So many, you know, erectile dysfunction for men um, would be a, a, an example of possibly how to use the liver channel and the liver sinew channel or a case in which we may think about those channels. We know that the liver has five primary functions, storing the blood, spreading or maintaining the free flow of chi, dominating the sinews, opening into the eyes, and manifesting in the nails. In addition, the liver being belonging to the wood phase corresponds to wind, so liver disharmonies may lead to the generation of wind. We know that the liver has a lot to do with maintaining the patency of chi and it helps the, to govern the Ming Men fire. So while the kidney is the ruler or store place of the Ming Men fire, the liver um, kind of is the wood that feeds it. It also feeds the heart, right? Because wood and fire. But um, as such, pathological flaring of the Ming Men fire, heat rising excessively, flaring upwards, can be related to the liver. Again, because of its free flow function, the liver assists the movement of the lung, the descending, and stomach descending, and the ascending of the spleen. So we can see problems in those areas or with those functions being related to the liver. The liver is responsible for the free flow of chi in all directions so as such as it is prone to stagnation or diseases of stagnation uh, can affect the liver, the liver chi. And then of course we see it affecting all of these other areas. It has a connection with the conception vessel and the liver stores the blood too. So it has a close connection to the blood. So the blood that the liver stores, all the blood, but some of that blood flows into the ren and the chong, the conception and penetrating vessels, to become menstrual blood. So the liver then becomes responsible, or the liver chi becomes responsible for the smooth flow of menstruation, so certain menstrual issues can be, can be associated with, uh, or the treatment of certain menstrual issues can be associated with points along the channel. If we think about a summary of what the points along the channel do, because of its association with chi and movement and being prone to stagnation, signs of stagnation being disten distending kind of pain, right? Then we can see that points on the channel are going to be used to resolve distension or distending pain related to stagnation of liver chi in the head, throat, chest, heart, lung, stomach, abdomen, right? The lateral side of the ribs, which is also related to the gallbladder area the lower abdomen, intestines, and genitals. Points on the channel can assist in the descent of stomach and lung chi and the ascent of spleen chi. Points on the channel are going to be used to pacify internal wind and anchor 
ascendant liver yang, right? Because of that connection with Ming Mong, Ming Men, that con uh, conception, that connection with the blood, with the creation of wind, right? All of these things have a tendency to move chi up. So there are going to be points on the channel that have a function strongly bringing yang down and pacifying wind. So some of the symptoms associated with that might be headache, dizziness, epilepsy. Obviously, we'll see points that cool liver fire, benefit the eyes, treat pain, swelling, and other disorders of the external genitals, especially in men, regulating, menstru regulating menstruation and the menstrual cycle, treating disorders of urination, because the liver does have a function of flowing and assisting the chi transformation of the bladder. So painful urinary dysfunction, incontinence, frequent urination, we can look to the liver. Treating lumbar pain, because liver chi, even though the low back is related to the kidney, liver chi stagnation can show up as low back pain and treating psycho-emotional disorders that come from liver disharmony. So whether it be liver blood deficiency, liver chi stagnation, uh, liver fire, all of these situations can disturb the hun and the shen. The points on the liver channel of fu jui yin, our entry point is liver one, our exit point is liver 14, 14 to lung 1 is the exit branch as well as we know that the internal pathway of the channel enters the lung. Our Xi cleft point is liver 6. Our Yuan source point is liver 3. Our Jing well point liver 1. Ying spring point liver 2 related to fire. Our Shu stream point earth point Yuan source point is liver 3. Our Jing river point is liver 4. One sun anterior to the tip of the medium alveolus. And our Hsi point is liver 8, the water point on the fire channel. The Luo point, liver 5. Our front mu of the liver is liver 14. And the back shoe point, urinary bladder, 18.